Should you be concerned for your pet's safety during the coronavirus pandemic? We spoke with Dr. Lillian Roberts, a local veterinarian at Country Club Animal Clinic. She shares her expert opinion regarding COVID-19 and pets. As long as your pet is not close socializing with an infected person, they pose literally no risk at all. After two cats in New York contracted the virus, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends treating pets like family, keeping them away from other people and animals. Pets that have developed positive tests have all been living in close proximity with people who are infected, as far as we know. We asked Dr. Roberts if cats are more susceptible than dogs when it comes to contracting the virus. Dogs appear to be what's called a dead-end host. In other words, they may be able to grow the virus in their throat for a while, but they don't usually get sick from it. She also says the virus doesn't hold on to fur very well. Theoretically, if that dog were to lick that person's face or hands and they had the virus on them and then turn around and immediately lick you in the face, that would just about be the only way you could catch it from a pet. Only social distance yourself from your pet if you feel sick. Dogs do not react as well as cats would to social distancing. We asked Chris, a local dog walker and owner of these two dogs, if she would social distance herself from her dogs if she thought she was sick with the virus. I will definitely distance myself from my pets just to be cautious. The CDC recommends if you feel sick to not sleep in the same bed with your pet or let them lick you. It's best if someone else can take care of your pet while you're sick, but if you're not sick, count on them. This is why you have pets is so that they can make you feel better when times are tough and when you're stressed out. And it's still safe to take your pet for walks. Just be sure to always practice social distancing. Dr. Roberts and the CDC both are not recommending routine testing of animals at this time. However, if your pet seems sick, call your veterinarian. Caitlin Thrope, News Channel 3.